Hi everybody, welcome to Gen Med Art. It's Jennifer here again and I'm back with part 4 of my suturing tutorials. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and follow me on Instagram. Today you'll be learning how to do a figure of 8 suture. Now disclaimer, I am not a doctor or a surgeon. I am an artist and a third year medical student who loves to suture. So with that being said, let's begin. Okay, so if you want to learn the basics like the name of these instruments, or how to hold them, please watch my first suturing video, The Simple Interrupted Tutorial. The link is below. Now before I begin with the actual suturing process, I will begin with this drawing to help you visualize what we will be doing today. Okay, so as usual, I'm right-handed, so I'm going to go ahead and begin here. I'm going to go through the skin, through the incision, out of the skin, and then without cutting anything, we're just going to go ahead and go across and then start here again. So go through the skin, through the incision, out of the skin. So now you're gonna get this end and this end. So they're both two loose ends and you wanna tie it and make a knot, surgeon's knot right here. So again, I'm gonna go through the skin, through the incision, out of the skin, come across down here, again through the skin, through the incision, out of the skin and then tie these two loose ends right here now let's begin with the actual suturing process all right so today we're going to be using this 2-0 nylon monofilament suture and it's blue let's get that open oh it's pretty Okay, so we're going to go ahead and choose this incision right here. Now this is a hemostatic suture, so I would choose this incision, but I've tried to practice on it and it's, I need a new suturing pad, it's very damaged. So we're going to go ahead and do this one. So let's begin. Okay, so always make sure that your entrance point and your exit point is equal distance from each other. So now without cutting, we're going to go ahead and start about 5 millimeters down. Come through. Alright, so this is the fun part. So this is the tail. And this, we're going to go ahead and do a surgeon's knot. One, two, around the needle driver, grab that end, pull it through. Once around the needle driver, again, opposite direction. It one more time. All right, and that is the first suture. So we're gonna go ahead and cut. Now you can see the suture pad has been used a lot of times, so there's a hole over there already, and it made the suture a little sucky. But we're gonna go ahead and continue anyway. And let me zoom in. All right, so now we'll start the next suture. Equal distance and pull it through. Leave the tail. And then we're gonna start about five millimeters down. Pull that through. And now we're going to tie these ends together. One, two. And once in the opposite direction. Again, opposite direction. And let's do it one more time. All right, now we're going to cut. 
Okay, next one. Make sure when you pull number three, you pull it out of this loop and then inside the loop. And now we're going to tie it off. One, two. Once. Again. Okay, so for this last two, I'm just going to speed up the video. Alright, so that is done. This is your figure of eight suture. And you probably can tell by the name why it's called figure of eight. Um, this suture pad is pretty old, so it has a lot of prominent holes in here, so the sutures aren't as perfect as I would like, but that's okay. Alright, so that is your figure of eight suture. I hope you enjoyed it. And stay tuned for my next suture video, which will be the Interrupted Horizontal Mattress Suture. Thank you for stopping by. See ya.